We created Cimarron as a mechanism for Scott and I to work together and to make the most of his creative abilities and my business skills. So in my design process, I use a technique of drafting uh, called lofting. It comes from traditional wooden boat building. And that allows me to work with uh, full-scale drawings as the designs evolve and interact with the proportions and sizes of, of my designs. Uh, using traditional drafting techniques from boat building uh, allows me to think about my designs during the design process less in terms of specific measurements of inches and feet and more in terms of how the proportions relate to my body. When I was in uh, the Arquez School for traditional wooden boat building, uh, we would go out and mill a lot of the wood that we used in our boats. Um, having that background has given me the ability at Cimarron to uh, bring those skills into the production of our furniture and the raw materials that we use for our furniture. Milling our own wood also gives us the ability to take advantage of a lot of local woods uh, that are very beautiful and functional, but not commercially available. With the design finished and the wood back in the shop, now it's time to turn it into furniture. Scott is a perfectionist and also very much an artist as well as a craftsman. Working with Scott, both as my husband and as the master craftsman we rely on, it's really enjoyable because I know that whatever he does in a prototype, we're going to be able to replicate and make beautiful every single time. Once the design's in the computer, uh, we're able to bring that to a facility and load that into computers and equipment that can replicate my hand designs uh, to scale. While the machine is able to reproduce the shapes that I design accurately and quickly, we still need to bring those pieces back into the shop and process them and turn them into a finished piece of furniture. When most people think about concrete, they think about sidewalks and parking garages and bridges. Uh, the concrete that we are creating and casting at Cimarron is very different, very highly specialized mixed designs uh, to perform in the furniture that we're creating. Uh, being able to very carefully and accurately control our mixed designs and our materials allows us to create high performance concrete that can be very thin and strong at the same time, uh, that can uh, hold shapes and forms. Uh, we have to very, very carefully control uh, the amounts of materials, sometimes down to the tenth of a gram. And having a background in chemistry allows me to understand how to best utilize those ingredients uh, to make the concrete that we need for our furniture. In contrast to wood, which comes with a lot of its own defining characteristics. Uh, concrete is something that I can very carefully and specifically engineer to look and be exactly what I want it to be. Mixing the various colors, the pigments that we have access to allow me to match any Benjamin Moore swatch to within a shade. The combination of aggregates and color pigments that I have to work with allow me to create an almost unlimited variety of looks and styles. Adding aggregates of different sizes and types like cranberry glass or broken slate allows me to create visual textures and looks that are completely unique. In our sealing process, we're carefully measuring and controlling both temperature and moisture content of the concrete to end up with a piece that is properly sealed and bulletproof. The most exciting thing for me in watching the pieces of furniture come together is when the cast concrete meets the wood and how beautifully you can mix this natural with unnatural in color contrasts, in texture contrasts. It's incredible to watch. My greatest joy in my work 
is in the end result in seeing the finished piece that's come all the way from concept, design, and manufacture into its final form. If you own a piece of Cimarron furniture, you own something that is a unique, functional piece of art.